In this video I'm going to show you how to add the fixed bottom mobile menu to your WordPress site. As you see there are three icons, home icon, phone icon and email icon. If I click on the email icon, it opens up your email program and if you click on the phone icon, it will call to the contact. Also, I set it up in the WooCommerce site. If you click on the Add to Cart button, the icon refreshes here and shows the item count. There is a home icon and there is a account icon. So in this video I'm going to show you how to add this to your WordPress based site. In this video I'm going to use two teams. I'm going to use Cadence team, both free and pro version. And I'm going to use an Astra team. But you can use this solution in every WordPress based site as long as your team supports hooks. If your team does not support hooks, then it's going to be harder and I'm not going to show you how to do that on those sites. But if your site uses hooks, then you're good to go. But before we start, please subscribe to this channel and you will be the first to be notified about new tutorials. Now let's dive in. I'm going to close down those two here and I'm going to open my demo site. So first we're going to use a Cadence Pro team. Why? It's because the solution I'm going to show you is the uh, easiest of the three I'm going to show you today. If you want to take a look at the Cadence Pro version, then take a look at the link in the description of this video. So if you have a Cadence Pro team installed, then just go to the Appearance and Elements, click on Add New, and now choose Fixed. Give it a title, for example, Bottom Bar. And now let's add the row here. I'm going to use the Cadence blocks, but you can use uh, Elementor or Breezy or whatever page builder you would like to use. I'm going to use uh, Cadence blocks in this video. So three column layout. And first thing, I'm going to add uh, an icon. Sorry, not icon box, but icon. I'm going to change the icon to home. Change the size to 30 pixels. If I want, I can change the color or hover color. For example, this one here. And next one, the link. I'm going to set it to home page. Now duplicate and move it here. Next, I'm going to change the icon. This time it's going to be a phone icon. And for the link, you will add tell and your number. Duplicate again and move here and change the icon to email. And for the link, it's going to be mail to and add your email. Now let's set up the visibility. Click on element settings, placement, fixed bottom, no space below footer, display settings. If you want to show it on entire site, then choose entire site. Exclusion rules if you want user settings, whether it all users are logged in or out users or role based users, I'm going to set it to all users. And device settings, it's going to be on tablet and mobile. If it's going to be only the mobile, then the bigger screen phones, for example, iPhone 12 Pro or something, they will not show it. Therefore, tablet and mobile. Now let's publish and see how did it work out for us. Open up the page. Inspect it on a mobile view. And you'll see it is here, but looks rather weird. Therefore, let's tweak it a bit. I'm going to choose the row and under the mobile layout, I'm going to set it to show us equal three columns. Now let's have add the background to it. It's going to be white. Now let's update and refresh. Well, there it is. Now you can tweak the background or whatever you want to do takes you to home, opens up the phone, 
and open up the email. Now, since I have a WooCommerce site here, I'm going to use another option. Instead of this icon here, I'm going to show the user icon. And it's going to take us to the account page. Therefore, I'm going to change the link to account. And this icon is going to be the cart icon or bag icon. I'm, I like the bag icon more. And I'm going to change the link to cart page. Update, refresh. And as you see, if I click on this icon, it's going to take me to the account page. If you want to customize your account page, then take a look at the link in the description. I have made a video how to customize the account page. And this one takes us to the cart. Now I would like also to show the items total in the cart. Therefore, we have to tweak it a bit more. If you're comfortable using your child team's functions PHP file, then do that. But I'm going to add the plugin and the plugin is code snippets. It allows me to add the code snippets without modifying the functions PHP file. So install and activate it. And after that, go to snippets and add new. Give it the title, for example, cart items total. And now paste here the code I'm going to provide you. You can find the link to the site where the code is in the description of this video. Just paste it here. Choose only run on site front end. Save changes and activate. And now take a look. We added a short code. Woo cart but here. I'm going to copy and go to the appearance elements. Ooh, bottom bar, not bottom bar, bottom bar. Okay, now let's tweak this column here. I'm gonna add a row here, like this. Then I'm gonna move this icon inside this column. And here I'm gonna add the short code, which is ooh, guard, but. Now update, refresh the page. Now, as you see, the total item counts appears here, but it looks weird. Therefore, let's tweak it a bit. Go back to the element. Click here, choose row layout. And now under the mobile, choose the equal again. Mobile padding margin, zero pixels. Update it. Also the same padding for tablets. Update it, refresh, and looks already much better. Now, if you want to add the separators to the columns, you can do that by going to the column layout, border one pixel, and choose the border to be on the right. Choose a color, for example, this one here, copy styles, column layout, page styles. Now choose the row layout and in order for this to look nice everywhere, choose the vertical alignment middle, update it, refresh it. And there it is. Now let's tweak it a bit more. Go to the appearance and customize. Open up the additional CSS and copy the CS code I'm going to provide you in the description of this video here. And now as you see, the item count appears here. If you want to tweak it a bit, then just change this here. 11 pixels or whatever it you want it to be. I think 15 pixels, even 17 pixels is, is quite okay. And now if I click on add to cart, Cadence opens up my cart, but also it refreshes the count down here. Plub, publish, refresh, and it's there. So this was the Cadence Pro version, but maybe you don't have a Cadence Pro version. Well, then you can use this method. Just go to the plugins and add new. Search for reusable blocks extended. 
install and activate it. And now there is a reusable blocks menu here. Click on add new. Give it the title, for example, footer bar and customize it as we did previously. At the moment I'm gonna copy just what we did before, copy all content and I'm gonna paste it here. Now under the visibility settings, it's a cadence blocks visibility settings, just hide on desktop. Now publish, go to all blocks and you need this short code a bit later. Now next go to snippets and add new. Before that I'm gonna set this one to draft. Now give the snippet the title footer bar and paste here the code I'm gonna provide you. You can find this code also in the description of this video. And now replace this here with this one. Just copy and paste it here. Only run on site front end, save changes and activate and let's see how did it work. Nothing on the desktop view but if we take a look at the mobile view it is down here. But as you see, we need to scroll in order to see it. Therefore, we need to add a small piece of CSS code to the customizer. Go again to the customize, open up the additional CSS and paste this piece of code here, this one. Publish it, go to reusable blocks, open up the footer bar, click on the row layout and under the advanced, give it the additional CSS class T sticky bottom. Update it. Take a look. This is a class here. Now let's see what did it do for us. I'm gonna open up the tablet view. It's here and there is a mobile view. As you see this icon here is too close to this divider here. Maybe I can tweak it Therefore, I'm gonna go open up this column, choose a padding and margin for mobile and give it a margin right 30 pixels. Update and let's see what happened. Something like this. Maybe, maybe 30 pixels is too much. You can tweak it as you want, 20 pixels or 10 pixels or whatever you like. Now this was Cadence free version, but what if you would like to use the same solution in the Astro team or any other team that uses hooks. So I'm going to open up the Astro site here and everything here is the same as with the Cadence free. I have a reusable block, footer bar and I added a snippet, Astro footer bar and if I open it up, it shows me the short code. And here is the code I showed you before, which makes the cart item total visible. Now, since you want to use the Astra hooks, then you install either the Astra hooks plugin or go to the Astra team visual hooks. And you'll see all the hooks here. Astra footer after. And I used Astra footer before, but I can use also footer after, save changes, open it up. It does not show up on the desktop, but if, but if I open up the mobile view, there it is. And one thing more, under the appearance customize, I pasted the CSS code I showed you before. So it's just here. Well, as you see, it's not so difficult to make a mobile footer bar for your website. Just take the code I showed you, copy and paste it and make yourself a clean and effective mobile menu. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and you will be the first to be notified about new tutorials. Meanwhile, take care.